it's Lita Lum, and today we're going to make a very exciting DIY of ferulic acid, vitamin E, and vitamin C. And that theorem, what should I put in this container, this little pump that I got from Amazon. So but what's cool about this DIY is that we're going to, rather than using alcohol to dissolve the ferulic acid, ferulic acid is notoriously difficult to dissolve. We're not going to use propylene glycol, we're not going to use alcohol or vodka. They're gonna use propendiol, which I you can get a sample from Formula Sample Shop. Yes. A very popular DIY, vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid, it's kind of skin suticles, uh, you know, a holy grail for many, but it's really hard to dissolve ferulic acid. And maybe you don't want to use alcohol on your skin to dissolve ferulic acid, you might need you need alcohol. Also, you might not you want to use propylene glycol. So we're gonna use propendiol, one three, one three propendiol, which comes from a corn, a corn fermentation process, a sustainable renewable process. It's a petroleum free. Maybe if you don't want to use propylene glycols and what other stuff, petroleum-based glycols and propylene glycol, butylene glycol, all those things. Non-toxic skincare should be using that, in my opinion. And so this would dissolve ferulic acid. So that's what we're doing today. Isn't that exciting? And we're also going to preserve it with lucidol and ampticide coconut. Formula Sample Shop also has lucidol max, SF max, which you'd have to use 4% of rather than 2 and 2. You could do that. And I'm just doing hyaluronic acid from bulk supplements. Yeah. All of this is going to be down below the formula that I used. It's just awesome that this dissolves ferulic acid if you've ever had issues doing that with DIYs. And instead of L-ascorbic acid, we're going to use magnesium ascorbophosphate, a stabilized form of vitamin C. You need less of this than the L-ascorbic acid. Ugh. Also, you get these lotion crafters. There's links to all of these ingredients down in the description. Just click show more and it will bloop, populate the links. You might have to scroll a little bit because I kind of yammer a little bit. Yeah, gang. So I also, this is just a airless pump, a reusable one. This like pops off. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I did it. And then, ah, the, I like this one because it's easy to clean. It seems easy to clean. Um, yeah, so I also used 1% of, of the Poly Sugar Malt D9, which you can also get at Formula Sample Shop to further assist the dissolving and to dissolve the oil, the vitamin E within the serum. D9, Poly Sugar Malt D9 is a peg free, sugar derived solubilizer of oils and water, bio based. Raw materials, it's hydrophilic, so it's great for putting a little bit of oil in a water formulas. The only thing with the D9 is that it gets pretty frothy. And even if you want to do more of a traditional DIY that you can find on the internet, dissolving uh, ferulic acid, you can replace the propylene glycol of alcohol with 1,3-propendiol, and it'll be awesome. And I'm also putting some DMAE because I'm a big fan of DMAE. That's why I have it in my serum, in my skincare line. It's nice and firming. Links to my skincare, by the way, up above. And here are all of our ingredients. Links to these ingredients and where to get them are down below. And first, in our little jar here, we're going to put our 1,3 propendiol. And we have 10% of that, which is 5 milliliters. And I love these little pipettes that Lotion Crafters actually gives you when you order from them. Ferulic acid, we have 0.5%, which is 0.25 grams. And I'm just going to mix that up in here. And I decided that it was easier just to mix with my little food scraper. And as you can see, it completely dissolves very nicely. Excellent. And then I have my little mixer, which you can easily get on Amazon. Again, links below. I have my handy spinner, magnetic spinner, and I'm going to put it on low heat. On the left there is the heat. Then I add my distilled water straight into the jar, which is 36 milliliters, approximately 73%. 
of our formula. I'm going to let that mix and spin. I just have a little measuring cap because it's kind of spinning really fast and it's spinning everywhere. And then we have our D9, which I then put in at 1%, which is 0.5 milliliters to dissolve our vitamin E at 1%, which is also 0.5 milliliters. And it dissolves pretty quickly, but as I said, the D9 kind of froths up a bit. So that's the only drawback. And because it's starting to heat up really quickly, it's already at 123 degrees, I put this book, my Power of the Subconscious Mind book, which I don't really use except for this <laughs> purpose. And the spinner is so powerful, it, it goes right through. As you can see, things are dissolving nicely. It's just a clear liquid, milky when it's in the cap. That's going pretty well. Let's measure our out our magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is kind of yellow, and I'm just waiting until it cools down. We got our DMAE as well measured out. We want it to go down to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit before I add the rest of the ingredients. We've got our magnesium ascorbyl phosphate in, and then our DMAE I'm adding in now. Very nice. I'm just going to let that stir for a while. Mixing, 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 measuring out our hyaluronic acid, which I'm putting in last at 0.10%, which is 0 0.05. And I'm putting in my Lewisidol liquid and Amptocyte coconut as our preservatives before the hyaluronic acid. So it's pretty nicely dissolved. And now I'm going to put in our hyaluronic acid and gel it in the fridge for a little while. It's stirring it up, hyaluronic acid in, and then it's not going to be thickening up until I fridge it for like half an hour. So spin it, see it's nice and still frothy, and this is after the fridge, dude. See how it's a little jelly-like? And then we put it in our awesome airless pump. I like these because you can reuse them, you just slide the pump down. And here I, it's a little full before I put the cap on, which kind of snaps in place so it gets everywhere. But I like these, very nice and handy. And it's, it's the formula is still a little frothy from the D9, but that's gonna settle down. There we go, it's a nice thin formula that just absorbs in nicely, it doesn't feel sticky. What's awesome is the ferulic acid is all dissolved. Yeah, look how translucent my hand feels. Looks all nice. Yes! Yeah, have fun with your DIYs. Check out this amazing solubilizer. Um, Eco-friendly and uh, awesome non-toxic. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks so much. Bye! Bye, guys! Petroleum place supply it little up like <laughs> so today we're gonna do a nice bio alternative what would we call it magnesium scribble phosphate which is a soluble water soluble one three propendiol can replace propylene glycol okay a little it was we also used what did I use and you could replace the glue, the the glycerin percentage. Maybe I should have done that. I didn't. Yeah, man.